All right, so today we have a 2004 Gibson Les Paul Supreme. And I've learned a lot about these guitars since I got one. And I wish I would have filmed the parts where I put this thing together because when I got it, it's just the neck and the body, no electronics, no hardware. And so I put all, all those things on it. Tone Pros, Locking Bridge, and Tailpiece, Gibson Classic 57 in the bridge, DiMarzio um, Super Distortion, I think is what that is in the neck, the uh, mirrored chrome dome type knobs, and this beautiful inlays that you only see on these and some other um, rarer custom type models and some Super 400 I think has those uh, and this beautiful headstock here it's just really cool it says Supreme on there and I put a uh, chrome truss rod cover on there as well uh, it's, it's a really thick guitar. It's chambered. It's pretty much hollow and it has a very nice figured maple back as well. And you'll notice too that there is no control cavity or three-way switch um, cavity. That is because of this maple flamed and it's arched too, arched back there, which is really cool and beautiful and uh, you have to get all the electronics in to this the output jack plate <laughs> cavity that's why it's so large she said and also it has the perloid hip shot locking tuners that i really like so much grip lock hip shot grip lock tuners so it's such a nice looking guitar and again i should have taken pictures at least when i was putting it all together but i was just so excited to get it going it has an ebony fretboard and it just plays really nicely i've got some of these G ghs thin core strings on here right now i was reading about them in some forum i think it was the gear page or something and uh, i really like the way these play these are nines i've been kind of experimenting with some nines on some of my guitars easier to bend and uh, sounds really good so you know yeah let's see what this thing sounds like huh? <laughs> 